I got broads in Atlanta, she's the lead in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the family. Hey, what's up? It's Tex Heavy here. Why don't you do a little video on how you can actually um, use Streamlabs OBS and get all your overlays and anything from um, themes. Take those and install it into regular OBS Studio. Sometimes uh, OBS, excuse me, Streamlabs OBS doesn't run as good, etc. and so forth. So, obviously I have an overlay installed here. I have uh, also a few others. And basically the easy way, folders you cannot, you have to expand first. Uh, say we want to find out the location of that webcam uh, frame. You just click on it, right click it, and then you want to click properties, and then it will show us exactly where it is located. So, click browse, it actually opens up where it's at. Now this folder, this um, slops client, I'll actually show where this is located. You have to enable, well first, go to your PC, C drive. I'll show you, you have to do something first to see the actual folder. Um, click view and then make sure hidden items is enabled and then what you want to do is users and then find your username it'll be your email Microsoft account whatever you signed up with click on app data roaming you want to see um, find slobs client right there There'll be a, like, a few other like slabs, uh, excuse me, Streamlabs will be a Streamlabs, Streamjar is another um, program, but no, it's different. But you want slabs client. And he gives us this, overlays. And there's a bunch of them, uh, like this one here. It does not show these because these are animated. You can add those also, which I will show in a moment. And then as you see, I mean, this isn't the exact same as part of it though. It has everything in here, so if you wanted that, you could just literally click in here and copy it, and then go into OBS, which that's what we'll do. So say if you want this, you can actually just again make sure it is selected. See, we have to get that 26 in there, so once it's selected, you're good. Go here, copy. It's gonna get a little bit uh, trippy here. I won't maximize it. Um, and you just wanna go to your sources, and that was an image. So you wanna click image, create new. We'll just do that. And actually, you have to actually browse for it, but you can just copy and paste we copied in so control V or right click and paste or command uh, I forgot what, whatever Mac is sorry I don't do not use Mac do not have one then hit enter and as you see there's just one well there's many different ones that come with this um, specific template but let's say we want 26 okay let's pull up streamlabs again Okay, we were at 26, and then let's see, let's go back, so 26, okay, open, and bam, there it is. And then you can just, you know, resize it, obviously, etc. and so forth, do as you please. This is just easier if you want, you know, say if you do not want the whole overlay. And then, for instance, um, I will show you... I don't think I even have it in here anymore, but for instance, if it's animated, all you do is it's animated is a WebM file. So click plus, and then <clears throat> you want to go to media source, name it what you want, and then make sure local file is enabled because that's what it is, it should be by default. 
and make sure loop is also enabled unless it is something that goes off screen for like some time but usually loop is what you want and again browse and it actually it already puts this in there because that's where we just were and mine is at the top so can't see him because that's just how it is open and then loop okay and this is actually just like a little uh you can put like your latest follower a blood up a little bit bigger i want to real quick let's maximize this you can see it's animated obviously you would want that to loop so the smoke etc you know can um, go back and it keeps doing its thing so you can actually you know mess around you know if you do not want one whole uh package type thing you can you know mismatch uh however you, whatever different you know um like your cam overlay with this and this and this and just make something of your own or you just want to take the whole scene out of uh you know streamlabs of yes and again you just open this up this PC which is your computer you want to go to your C drive and again click on view make sure hidden items is enabled click on users find your name app data okay because that's what it is the applications data the roaming and we want to again it's the slobs client you will also see streamlabs OBS and streamlabs that does not contain the overlays strap the um, slobs client overlays and you can just click and you can see what it is for you know you click and copy it like I showed so just very quick and easy way to just get stuff switched over because you know this actually lately I've been just seeing a bunch of stuff that having problems etc and so forth so Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it is handy to some of you. I'm sure some of you may already know how to do this. There is a most likely different ways on how to do this also, but I thought I would show you my way. Hope you guys have a great one. Take care and talk to you later. Peace.